In this video I'm going to talk about the uh, static content or uh, better or newly called hero scenes. I will talk about all of them and uh, explain what uh, each look like and what they uh, display. Now if you're wondering why the name static content or why the uh, the hero scenes well hero scenes are uh, trendy uh, name used in modern uh, web design while static content was the name uh, added uh, for these types of uh, elements back in the previous uh, versions so um, basically this these elements are neither uh, sliders they're neither uh, subheaders they're not uh, sections they're just blocks of different content with uh, uh, nice uh, nice options and nice uh, layouts so moving on in this element in sorry in this video I'm going to talk about the uh, static content video element and if you wonder what it looks like uh, just open hero scenes and look for the video launcher so as you can see it's a simple background uh, based uh, element with a text and a call to action obviously play uh, button if you click the link you can see it will open uh, entirely a new light box with the uh, video you specify so I'm just going to edit this page with the page builder and I'm going to hide the header because I want to have access to this uh, options bar in the top and as you can see we have a custom height uh, option right here where you can specify the height of the the element you can also choose uh, full screen which will of course obviously disable the custom uh, option uh, uh, field and by full screen I mean full height because uh, as you can see the element is already uh, full width so it will make it uh, full uh, full screen we also have this uh, scrolling effect which will upon scrolling you can see the content is being faded and somehow the text everything in here remains into the center of this block it's a cool effect based on the scroll moving on you can also uh, specify multiple um, multiple effects here if you choose this one for example it will um, add a cool feature to the background which upon scrolling as you can see here will scale the the background so let me just save it right here and yeah I have to publish this and view into another page so yeah I, I uh, set the background to be full screen and as you can see the background is scaling itself nice image by the way I keep looking at it and it's fascinating back to the options we have the title field in which you can add a title field of course but here is it, I kind of added um, more of a paragraph and uh, I uh, wrapped the text into a span uh, tag with a class of font weight thin basically I wanted the text to be thin in uh, weight so as you can see here I added one more which wraps uh, this part of the text and makes it uh, semi bold I will explain uh, all about these uh, classes into a separate video called CSS preset classes. If you want to know more, look at this video and I will explain there more. Now we also have this video link which is the source of the video upon 
uh, triggering it when you click the uh, button right here the video will uh, will appear into a light box and you can also add a nice uh, text right here with a, a small description and finally we have the background and style options which in fact uh, I won't actually won't talk about this because um, first of all the options are quite intuitive but um, the main reason is because there's uh, these options are very common in uh, in the uh, page builder elements and I instead of explaining in each video uh, adding 10 minutes to explain it I choose to make a single video which explains all about these uh, these options so the video is called background options for uh, elements and um, after you uh, look at it uh, it will it should actually answer to all your question and guide you to use them uh, properly so uh, that's about it with this element if you have any questions feel free to ask me and uh, if you're having trouble with the element simply uh, subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one